Hey, welcome to Revenge of the Show and The Revenge of the Show. If you haven't been here before, welcome. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Things are getting a little bit better financially for me, so I will be able to do some more Model Kit Mondays and some other stuff. Knocking on wood. Kind of wood. Anyway, this is a review of two of the 148 scale. Let's have a comparison between this old testers kit. That was the only 148 scale SR71 that you were going to get. They, I think they also made an A12 and uh, a YF12. I'm pretty sure. They're going for big bucks. This one was going for big bucks. Uh, so how is it in comparison to this brand new tool? Came out about a year ago. I got this at uh, Chicagoland Toy and Hobby on Northwest Hi Highway. If you go over there, I highly recommend you do. They got great prices on their stuff. I paid 79 bucks for this just a couple weeks ago. This is September 2022. So, you know, go on eBay. You'll find them for a lot of money. I might have gotten the last one over here, but every time that they got a new kit, I'm not getting paid by them. But any, every time they got a new kit, they got really good prices. And they're friendly staff, and I highly recommend them. If you do go over there, Tom, hey, Bruce sent you from the Revenge of the Show and maybe that will help me out some other time but anyway let's get a look at these two kits remember like and subscribe and all that good stuff and let's open the boxes i'm even going to open this box i'm doing it for you doing it for you you know i was thinking about selling this one but i'm doing it for you if i ever get a thousand subscribers i'll open up if I ever get a thousand subscribers, I'll open up this kit for you one day. But as for now, what's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, let's first start off with the older kit. You know, they, they box it up differently in different ways. This came out. A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far, no, it came out a while ago. I don't know the exact time. Uh, if anybody knows, you can tell me. I got a pretty good price on it, actually. I paid 25 bucks. So you open it sideways. There's the box. Nothing special. This is the directions. Pretty basic. After burners. Oh, look at that. It gives you the SR-71B, I, I, wonder, I wonder if this kit, you could make an SR-71B. That would be very interesting. There's two SR-71Bs were ever the trainer version. There was two of them built. Uh, one crashed. The other one's in uh, the museum, Kalamazoo Air Zoo. I plan on going there. Uh, got the A, here's the A-12 configuration with the... I don't, A12 was a little bit faster than the SR71. It was only one pilot, and then the uh, CIA only used it. So I'm opening up this, this baby for you guys. This is a big deal. Oh, I wonder if this kit was open before I bought it. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, somebody, it was a pre-owned kit. So here it is, here's the canopy stuff. Don't know if they make this kit to where you could make it a, an A12 or an SR-71B. Uh, well, you can. 
What do you freaking know? You could make it an SR-71B. I'm sure you can't make it on A12. A12 is a little bit different. A12 is shorter. It's not as not as long. Uh, doesn't have this stuff here. That's a little bit different in the back. Front end's a little bit different. And of course, uh, it's a single single seater. Note: short tail on A12 used parts from Tester's YF12 kit. So if you buy that YF12 kit, <laughs> you could cut it off, and then you could make this into an a12 interesting you have a couple other things that you'd have to change of course too <clears throat> so here is the canopy it's not bad the bottom wow that's a that's a nasty little part that you have to get off over there very thin seems very brittle Again, brittle uh, cockpit stuff looks pretty cool. And there's the male person. So there's the tub. There's some detail on there. Not great detail. Lots. Looks kind of flashy. Scratched up a little bit. There's baggie number one. Yeah, definitely. This kit was not brand new. Uh. Wheels are okay. I think they're BF Goodrich wheel, wheels on here. Jeez, Christ, shut up. BF, uh, BF Goodrich wheels on here. Okay. Afterburner, which is actually part of the airplane. Um, Looks pretty good. Bypass, a lot of bypass doors on there. Another screw. Bypass doors. Don't really see where. Okay, this looks like the top for to make the the B model. Wow, you know what? That makes me really want to keep this kit now and build the B model. I did not know you could build a B model with this kit. <clears throat> These would retract like 23 inches. So you're not going to find really any pictures of the SR-71 at Mach 3. There is some mm -hmm. film footage when uh, when they released an M21 from the D21. Let's try reverse. That's D21. And uh, that's the only film footage of a SR-71 or a Blackbird uh, flying at Mach 3. And it's photographed from another SR-71. And you see the, the, the D-21 crash into the M-21. And uh, Kelly Johnson's voice over is over it. And that was it as far as launching the um, D-21s from an SR-71. That was it. After that, then they started launching them on from B-52s. They weren't very successful. They lost a few. Uh, bottom looks pretty good. Yeah, there's uh, another uh, kit. I forget who makes it. There's no detail in the in the doors, in the in the uh, bay doors at all. In the other kit, you got two different front noses. It looks like. Yep, yep. That's pretty cool. Lots of flash. Not bad. Loose part. And here is the decals. Oh, it wasn't even in the bag. So 
They seem to be in pretty good shape yet. I love the Skunk Works pattern. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so that is the testers kit. I'm gonna put that down to the side. The new tool Ravel kit. Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh, here's part of an ejection seat. Uh, don't want to lose that. Dun, dun, dun. Side back. Boom, boom. The fastest air breathing plane in the world. To this day. And here we go. Already, right off the bat, you could see there is a gigantic difference in what's happening here. This is gigantic. Holy moly guacamole. That is, man, when this thing's all said and done, it's, it's that's this big. Very nice lines here. That would be titanium, uh, some type of plastic, titanium, some ti or titanium, some type of plastic, titanium, titanium. You know, it went back and forth. The leading, it wasn't all titanium on the front of it. This looks like a nice expansion joint. There's a bunch of expansion joints on this this bird. I've heard it, you know, expands to a foot. I've heard two feet, you know, I, you know. I'm sure it's somewhere in between there. Wow. So freaking nice. I mean, look at this detail. <laughs> yeah. Where should we go first? All right, we're gonna go here. All right. Wow. And it feels really nice. I like this gray plastic. It feels different. You know, Pratt Whitney engines. Boy, it, it got, you know, it's like when you took off on one of these, I think it was like 10,000 gallons of fuel, uh, fuel or 10,000 pounds of fuel or, um, would be burnt up, just taken off, get to the tanker. Gallons or, was it gallons or pounds? Somebody leave a note in this, this description I can't remember or the prescription don't forget to sign up to, for my channel boy that is really nice boy. and you could do different noses here only four bolts you could disconnect the noses of SR-71s, four bolts, just to take the nose off and put different electronics in the, in the front cameras or whatever. Uh, the, the cockpit is much, much nicer in this kit than the other kit. I gotta say everything seems to be a lot nicer so far. So the SR-71 would get better fuel mileage going Mach 3 than it would at any other speed. It was made for that. 
the engines would basically turn into ramjets. It's an, not a ramjet engine, but it would basically turn into a ramjet to where it's like only 30% of the energy was produced by the, the engine itself. And these these uh, spikes, um, they're designed by Ben Rich, who later on went and pretty much was the brainchild of the F-117. Boy, yeah, the wheels are, the wheels are even nicer. I mean, there's so much detail in these wheels. I think they got 10, 10 to 12 landings on, on the wheels before they had to replace them. This is just the duplicate of that. I've heard stories of the SR-71 going to Mach 3.4, and uh, but doing 3.4, both engines uh, basically burp burped, and it was a very, very dangerous situation that the pilots got into, but 3.3 was not really unheard of, but 3.4, you're really, really, really pushing it. If you tried to get an SR-71 to 3.5, you'd probably destroy the engines. And then, of course, there's the famous story to where an SR-71 pilot radios in to a tower in LA and a Cessna says, I'm going 150. And then a, a F-16 goes, oh, I'm doing this speed. And then SR-71 says this. Now I've heard other SR-71 pilots in a YouTube video say that that story is bullshit. I don't know. The guy that uh, said that he claims that story wrote the book Sled Driver. Uh, he took a lot of photos of the SR-71 when it was flying around. Uh, very interesting guy. Uh, so who knows? I don't know. SR-71s, when they would go in, they'd, they'd make contact with the, the tanker. I mean, they would basically not even talk to the tanker. <clears throat> they just had to meet its rendezvous. Oh, well, this is... Wow. Big bracing inside this thing to keep it together. Here's a canopy. So you can't make an SR-71B out of this, but the canopy is super clear. You know, you could do a lot up in, inside that uh, cockpit, but you know, it's still not gonna see a real lot. Is gorgeous some heft to it no flash there's no flash on any of these parts I mean it's just incredible I'm blown away by it so that there might be a little deficiency there but man you know what these airplanes you build them up like they are now sitting out in a desert and stuff like that. You know, it's unfortunate that a lot of these planes are sitting out there kind of outside, some of them, and, you know, the weather's just taking its toll. The ones at the Peterson Air Force Base, they're in really, really great shape. The YF-12 and the uh, uh, SR-71. I forget. I think they got an A-12 there, too. can't remember right now. And there's, this is a really nice little book here. There's, there's this, you could do whatever you want. I don't know, there's a little paint guide. Parts, parts count, parts tree. Now you build it, 
I don't think this is an incredibly, so it says it's a level five, but I don't think it's an incredibly hard kit to, to build. It's not gonna be easy to find a place to put it when you, when you finish building it. That, you know, too bad you didn't get an engine on the side just to put it outside the airplane. That would have been nice. Really nicely done there. The decal sheet is, that's pretty sweet. And I'm sure there's decal sheets out there for different birds. I mean, this is it. They say they're the same size. You know, I guess they are, but yeah. So there's there you are. Um, I'm gonna go up to a score of eleven. Why? Number and make that a little louder. These guys are eleven. I'm going to give this new SR-71 kit, if you could get it for 80 bucks, it's a 10. The only reason why I'm giving it a 10 is that it would have been nice to have a little Pratt & Whitney engine to put outside the airplane in, in this scale. Because then you could, you could make this kit to where when you got to the engines on an SR-71, the whole wing lifted up. Like, so here's the, here's the airplane, it went like that whole top part lifted up so that you could get to the, they got to the engine that way. That would have been really nice to be able to build this up that way. Uh, so that's the only reason why I'm giving it that. If you're just doing it in flight and if you always wanted to just do it in flight, you didn't need that, it's an 11. The other kit, if you could get, if you could get it for a reasonable $50 price or something like that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nine. It's got some softness to it, uh, not too soft. It's really nice that you can make it into a B model. Uh, it's a nine. Uh, so that's it. I hope you liked and I hope you enjoy and uh, subscribe. <laughs>